In today's video, I'm going to explain to you pretty simply how you can measure the amperage draw on any device. Now this can apply to either an AC, an alternating current, or a DC, which is what I'm utilizing right here with this light right here in front of you. This here is just a standard 12 volt light, and what I wanted to do is get a amperage draw on here so that way I can appropriately put a correct size fuse to protect this circuit since this is going to be an additional light for a trailer. Now what you're going to need of course is a multimeter. How you do it is you're going to want to set it to the amperage that's appropriate. So I know that this light is going to be relatively small, you know, so one, two amps tops. Actually not even an amp. I know it's not going to be even an amp. So I have mine set right there to 10 amps. Now on this one, the ground, you're going to always leave connected. Don't mess with that. The other one, which is the, um, the positive side of this light, you're going to disconnect that. And then on the other side, of course, you're going to have your feed line, which this red wire is coming from my power supply here. Simply what you do is take the multimeter, interrupt that lead, put one side to either end of the multimeter, it doesn't really matter. Connect the other one so that way it's letting the circuit close. As so you can see the light is on. And on your meter, it's going to tell you what you got. So you have 0 0.8. So this here is 0.8 amps. That's all it is. So to use an appropriate size fuse, I guess about the smallest you can use would be a 0.750 or you know not to get too overly fancy here you could just use a one amp that would protect this properly and if it were to ever fail or short out the one amp would do a great job of protecting the circuit now you could use this of course for an amplifier you could use it for anything a ham radio CB radio lighting such as this anything it's a great tick great little trip to know and also it's also pretty cool so that way you could use this with, in conjunction with knowing Ohm's law, which is basically just a pie chart with three variables, which is voltage, your amperage, and your wattage. So if you were to take 0 0.08, multiply it times 12, that's going to tell you the wattage of this bulb. And of course, if you had several bulbs, you can just m multiply it times the amount of bu bulbs. So you could put this, doing this type of circuit setup that I'm using now, and get your total reading in one shot. So pretty straightforward. Good to know.